Hello folks, Yoda here. Hello folks, Doxa here. In today's video, I'm going to share to you the easiest way to beat the Yoda facility. Let's roll the intro. Before we start the video, if there's any of you who got annoyed by how expensive the gears I'll mention, please read the title carefully. It won't be easy if you use cheap uncommon gears. Even though it's possible, and I already did a couple runs using uncommon gears and facilities, it's still pain in the ass. Seriously, 10 minute running from Beauty isn't the most exciting thing you want to experience. Now, let's jump into the topics. We'll start with the armors. I always use Black Strider set plus Gut set on my Diode run. I will explain to you why I bring extra armor set later in the video. Black Strider set gives you extra 25% damage to elite enemies, which not only good for a faster run, but also save a little bit of your weapon's durability since you deal more damage per shot. They also provide more than a 10k armor, so you will receive less damage and consume less mats. I have 3 weapons of choice for DoD. The Triad Automatic Crossbow, Dimbala Revolver, and Black Strider SVD. These weapons are the best for DoD in my opinion. With maximum bow skill and all the buff, the damage can reach up to 2.9k damage for each shot. The Bala Revolver, even though it's not dealing damage as high as the crossbow, it still deals good amount of damage, and the sound is just amazing, so it's number 2 for me. Unless, if I ever run out of acid weapons, I'll go with the Black Strider SVD. It's all about raw power, baby. Some of you may wonder why I didn't put the Cobra on the list, well, the answer is very simple, it sucks. It's probably the worst facility weapons ever. It only deals 1.6 to 1.8k damage each shot, and the damage over time caused by this weapon is considerably small. So I'm gonna say goodbye to Cobra. For the gadget, I have two favorite gadgets on the list, it's the Ulcer and Pusher. These are my favorite gadgets for DoD. Pulsar adds more damage to your acid weapons, and Pusher blocks slow down evac, which is very crucial in DoD. You can also add insulation on your setup if you plan to do a full Black Strider SPD on DoD or to fight those fireflies at the end. Facilities is the best place to use buffs. While you may never use any buff on the other events, such as Old Station, Red Zone, or Warehouse, those buffs will be very useful for facilities. Here are the list of buffs and mats for DoD. If you feel you're experienced enough, you can use the Wound Dressing and then equip yourself with Star Bomb so it will add 25% more healing from the Wound Dressing. If you don't have enough experience with DoD, I would recommend you stick with the Phoenix Stimulator. If you're planning to use Ulcer and Pusher, you can bring Ebonite as a backup healing because it can get rid of that electric shock. For bike mods, I prefer using 8kit for DoD. I will explain why later on this video. For decoration buff, you can use the Lightning Tree to reduce electric damage, the New Year Moose to increase running speed, and the Shelter Guardian to reduce incoming damage. If you don't have those decoration, you can use protection items such as Flint Stimulator or the Foil. Once you enter the facility, quickly use the Foil so you'll receive less continuous electric damage from the environment. Sneak up to Diode and shoot him with the highest damage weapon available on your storage. In this video, I sneak attack him using the Triad Crossbow. Always do sneak attack on facilities for extra damage on your first shot. Then, kite with him circling the area. Avoid stepping on electric shot because it deals huge amount of damage. Once DoD reaches his 4th HP bar, he will spawn fireflies. 
try to avoid them as best as you can to conserve your pusher and armor durability. It is best for you to not get hit by Diode till he reaches second HP bar. Once he reaches second HP bar, it will be hard to run from him unless you have the New Year Moose buff. It's okay to trade hit with him on his second and last HP bar. Diode has two special skills. First is the electric charge and second is his door swing. The electric charge may hurt you but it's not deadly. It has a wide range so sometimes you will get hit by the skill. What you need to worry about is his door swing since it can kill you instantly. My tip is to always sidestep him when he's casting the skill. You can run away from him, but if startle like happen, you'll most likely die to his skill. This is where 8 kit like starter set and flint stimulator come in handy. In case you mess up in the middle of the fight and get hit by his door swing, you won't die. Here is an example of me getting hit by his door swing due to lag when switching gears. You can hear the door swing. When you kill Diore, make enough distance with the fireflies and quickly switch your armor from Black Strider to Guide. This is why you need to bring extra guide set so you won't burn your Black Strider on the fireflies, as they eat a lot of armor durability. Use explosive throwing weapons such as cross candy or grenades so you can kill those fireflies at the same time. Use normal throwing weapons such as throwing axe or falcon axe for fireflies watchmen. Fireflies Watchman can hit you from anywhere, so it's kinda useless to run away from it. That's it for today's guide, hope this video will help you facing Papa in the future, thank you for watching, till next time.